Well, it has come to my attention that tribalism is a major problem in the Republic of Kenya. We just saw uh, John Buddy in the previous times. He was against the Ruto regime, against the cabinet, and all of a sudden, he came out uh, demonizing James Orengo, the governor for Sierra County. And uh, we all know that uh, he all he needs is uh, a cabinet position. He has been promised. There are, two slo there are some slots from western side of Kenya whereby Raila has been ordered to give. So Badi and um, Oparanya are fighting. Badi is fighting for this slot. And so he's very bitter and defending Ruto. He, he can be seen holding a mic and... Uh, it's like there's a big rift in ODM. ODM has a group of uh, that side of Joho. We have a group the side of uh, Oparanya. We have a group of South Nyanza MPs who feel that the party belongs to them. And so you can watch, let us watch whatever this guy is saying in this video. Then uh, we, we, we continue with the analysis. To disagreement with James Agriore. James Agriore. He's my senior. He's my friend. But where he is wrong, I will tell him you are wrong. You cannot tell us that we cannot dialogue, that we cannot talk with Ruto, we cannot talk as Kenyans. What is the alternative? We cannot play politics of populism. We cannot play politics of theory. We have been playing politics of theory since independence. That is why we have got these things wrong. Where are you taking us? We cannot follow Kalonzo because we don't know where he's going. Kalonzo is your party. I am saying it here affirmatively. I am not persuaded that Kalonzo is taking us anywhere. And I'm not persuaded that Uhuru means well for us now. If he wanted to give us leadership, he would have given us leadership. In 2022, some of us today, we would be cabinet minister. I would not be a nominated member of parliament. You are telling us that now it's when Uhuru was a solution as the key to take us to status. When he was a status, he handed kid, handed our key to someone else. Now you are teaching us that Uhuru can give us the key to status. I want to say it because I'm also a senior politician in this republic and this region. I am also a senior politician in Luna. I have authority. I am the chairman of ODM. We sat as a party. We told the prime minister, our party leader, we agreed that we need dialogue. We need discussion. We need conversation. We must decide where Kenya is going. ODM is a big party. We cannot just be passive participants. We must also talk about the future of this country. And you cannot tell us that the presidency of Ruto will come down. How? And if it comes down, what is the solution? If Ruto today resigns, it is Kashagwe who is going to be president. Is there a better option? To me, I say no. Kashagwe is worse than Ruto. He's a tribalist. He's in Kenya. He's a company. He's a shareholder. Where are we going to go? Well, I think you've seen how naive our leaders can be, and uh, I've seen uh, that all uh, it's not a tribal factor, but uh, all the most of the Luos now they are defending Ruto and they are the side of Ruto. And uh, previously, they have been telling us that Ruto is a big problem, we don't need him. So it seems that uh, for us to get things right, we need to do away with the generation, the older generation that feels like everything is about tribes it's about our people it's about us no it should be about kenya and uh, these leaders from nyanza have showed us that uh, they are the most they are worse than the uda mps they are very worse so it means that when if they would have been elected they wanted to go there to just eat eh? 
that's what it means from what we are seeing from Badi and other MPs from ODM in specifically from South Nyanza from Nyanza province I think they are worse than those people we have been seeing in UDA the arrogant MPs in UDA they might be better than these guys John Badi has proved that they are the most useless people that you can ever have in this leadership and so if he's salivating for a cabinet position uh, in the Ruto regime he's saying that Uhuru did not give them their presidency they the ODM did not have a, a, a plan to win the election these guys are very arrogant and they are not having any plan they do not listen to anybody they just know how to just thumb themselves I've been a member of ODM from 2005 I have been a supporter and a member of that party I can tell you that this party is a party of hooligans and uh, they do not listen to anybody during the elections and when they lose they say that they were not given who should give you the presidency you understand he's saying that he should he would have been a cabinet minister if Uhuru was meant for them is Uhuru IBC and the voters no so what we mean is that uh, this kind of nonsense should stop in this country these leaders all of them we do not need this kind of leaders anymore we need a prosperous country that is uh, industrialization we need good roads we need everything to function we do not need leaders who just look for positions so that they can make more billions for themselves this is not the right way so this kind of leaders guys if you are listening just make sure that uh, this kind of leaders if you have a sound mind during election do not elect this kind of people anymore we need people who are selfless who want a future for this country who want uh, to build more hospitals more schools more everything than Ruto yesterday we saw him saying he want to build more churches it's very very hilarious and uh, what I can say is that uh, I think uh, ODM it's become the end everything that has a start has an end so ODM is beginning to have its demise this is it, it is like it marking the end of ODM I think when Baba exits politics that would be the end of that party yeah and Baba has already lost a lot of people because you know had Ruto not killed the, the young people that he shot a lot of people have died people were killed in Gidurai in Rongai and some parts of the country had that not happened and Raila told us dialogue it will be good but the lives have been lost and you are going to bed with the same person who has killed the people and he is not apologetic and yesterday he threatened to do more harm if the people go back to the street he said today now if you continue you will know my true colors he said that I don't know in Bomet or somewhere in a church that's what I can tell you guys if we have this kind of leadership I think we have we are doomed as a country and uh, they are regrouping because they have seen there is no tribalism if you watch the video of this John Bad is talking about uh, Kikuyus what is he, Kikuyus if if Gachagua is destined to be the president of the Republic of Kenya he would be the president of the Republic of Kenya you Badi himself he has been a, a, a minister uh, he has been a, an MP for that constituency I don't know which constituency he has been there for a very long time yeah, you understand for 15 years and this guy there is no nothing in his constituency that he did in Suba South constituency this same guy is talking to us and speaking nonsense you know, in the forum because he is now campaigning for a, a cabinet secretary position it is very very unfortunate that we have this kind of leaders in this country and uh, I believe that we are hiding the best way and uh, we cannot allow we will not allow this kind of leadership to continue so you can watch this next uh, clip of where Mbadi is saying about Ruto and how his cabinet is useless you can watch this video just uh, see for yourself whatever people are dealing with when the things change on their side they unite when they are uh, uh, we are okay with whatever they are doing they did pretend they are in division like they are not supporting Ruto but in real in reality they are together so watch this in the committee and you are telling me that a name that has been brought here by none other than the president as having been mentioned in matters corruption that that person is as clean as cotton mr speaker let us be serious 
Even if, and I've never been in government except in 20, 20, 2008 to 2013 when I was in Usumukati government. I have never been in government any, uh, since that time, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, we have a choice to make either decision to reject over 60% of these names or give President Ruto his skunk. Let us not interfere with it. We give it to him. He has asked for it. Let us give him his cabinet. We know he's going to run the government from state house. These are not people who can run a government. Apart from a few individuals who are not even more than eight, the rest are incompetent, unqualified, have integrity issues, are people who cannot deliver this country from where it is to the next level that we want the country to move in. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I will oppose most of the names. Your time is up. So from that clip that I just played, uh, this guy, I think he's, he's salivating for a Nusumkate government between Ruto and Raila. And uh, it is very, very funny. And uh, it is just uh, demoralizing to be in this kind of country. So uh, you can uh, as well as uh, tell us, these leaders, how did they get there? I believe we are the people who elected these people and nobody is a nominated MP but uh, most of these people are elected the problem of the Kenyan Kenya as a nation is uh, the, mini, the MPs they are the same people who voted those uh, cabinet secretaries these MPs are the one who has brought Kenya to where it is they are the ones who made people die in parliament people have been shot and now the same ODM is going back to bed with the master himself who has been killing people. So this is a, an unfortunate scenario of whereby we cannot allow to continue like this in this country, guys. You let us know in the comments below what you think. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. And uh, remember... Uh, the people have said they will be marching to the airports they want to shut down the country because uh, these people the current government it's, it doesn't have any plans to adhere or to do whatever people are, are demanding for uh, that having been said these people are very arrogant and they feel that they they have they are entitled to do whatever they like to do and it's very very bad very very unfortunate of whatever is going on in this country we cannot allow uh, corruption and this thing to continue derailing our development to continue they have made a lot of people jobless it's not that kenya or africa cannot be productive we can have industries you can have everything that we want and you can collect as much tax as we want when everything is functioning but now they have stolen everything they have made us not to have industry our industries have shut down they are overtaxing everything is closing so when that happens all people will be jobless and when they are jobless they will be on the streets and so the only thing to do is to fix but now what we are saying uh, this kind of government should leave I, I think they should just go that's what is the only thing that is available for now that's the only dialogue we can talk because they, they still they are not going to deliver what we have agreed them to deliver. It is very, very unfortunate of what is going on here. Because uh, Bad is saying the presidency of Ruto won't come down. How? Are you the... You, it won't come down. How? You, you can ask this guy. You understand? So there are former governors <coughs> who have been nominated as per some rumors that Oparanya and Joho have been nominated to be cabinet uh, uh, ministers and Bandi himself. He want to be a cabinet minister and also unite Mohammed. So these people are fighting for that slot. They are fighting to be in the cabinet. They are fighting to get more billions. They are fighting to steal more money for people. They want their dream of becoming million billionaires it's just close and Kenyans are opposing it. So now Kenyans are enemies of even the ODM that was feeling that it's defending the people. It is uh, 
an unfortunate scenario guys so just let me know in the comments below what you think if odm is a, a party that has sold the people it is i believe for now i can tell you categorically that the mps in uda we have been saying they are the most useless but i believe now the ones in odm are worse they are worse so we can we call a sped a sped the orange democratic movement has proved to us that they are not for the people and that is a fact yeah so thank you guys for watching and kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell